Welcome to howtocookthat.net. Today we're looking at how to make a fondant teddy bear for a cake topper. First of all you need to colour your fondant. If you're not sure how to do that, click on the link and go to the video on fondant basics. Then we're going to split the fondant into basic sections for the amount we need for the body, the legs and the arms and the head. Starting with the piece for the body, roll it into a circle oval type shape and then we're just going to squash it a little bit narrower at the top and then we're going to make it a bit taller than it needs to be. The reason for that is the fondant tends to squash down a bit. So if we make it a bit taller as it sags down, it'll be the right shape. Gum paste doesn't do that, but gum paste is a lot more expensive. So if we can make it out of fondant, that just makes it a little bit cheaper. Next, we're going to do the legs. So we take a piece of fondant, roll it into a ball and cut it in two. The reason I do it that way is then I know they're both even. We roll it into a sausage type shape and then flatten the bottom for the bottom of the foot and then squish down the bit where the leg is going to join the body. We're actually not going to join the legs on right now. Once we sit him up, once he is dried, then the legs will just sit underneath the body. So we need to make it completely flat. Next, take the piece for the arms. Again, roll a circle and cut it in two. So you've got two even pieces and then roll it again, a similar sort of sausage type shape. Now where we're going to attach it to the body, we're just going to take the knife and cross hatch and then just get a little bit of water and pop that on the join. That just helps it to stick the two pieces of fondant together. Take your other arm again, just roll it into a sausage shape. Shape it how you want it and then take a piece of spaghetti and place it through the arm and then place that into the body. You're also just going to need some support while it's drying. So to do that you just rip off some of your baking paper and place that underneath the arm. Next take the piece for the head, roll it into a circle shape to start again and then just looking at the bear that you're making, just shape it down how it is. Put the baking paper underneath the head because we want the head to sit a bit forward, we don't want it sitting flat. Take two pieces of spaghetti poke them into the head to support it and then put that into the body. Next we're going to make the ears, take a small piece of fondant and cut it in two, a little bit of water on the join and then just pop it into place and then repeat that for the other ear. Next we will do the line down the face. If you look there's a line going down the middle so just take a knife and not pressing hard, just gently make the indentation down the middle. There's also a little bit of a line that you can see on his body. So using the knife again, just do a little indentation in the middle of his body. And they're just the stitching seams, but it just those details are what takes it from looking ordinary to looking great. So do the same on the legs and then also around the arms as well. Once you've done that, take something that's rounded on the end. I'm just using the end of a paintbrush here. You can use whatever you have and then just push down in the middle of the ears just to give that rounded indent where the ears are. Next we're going to make the pads to go on the bottom of his feet. So you need some light pink fondant. Just roll it out fairly thinly. Then using a piping tip, the circle side of it, cut out two circles and place one on the bottom of each foot. Grab a spare piece of fondant and just using the end of a piece of spaghetti give a bit of a fur type texture, just have a practice on the spare bit first and then do that a little bit on his chest just under his chin and on the end of his feet. Then take some light cream coloured fondant and shape it into a round shape for his nose then cut it in half and then just as it is in that shape just stick that right where his nose should go. And once it's in place you can then uh, shape it a little bit more. Take a knife and just follow that indentation that's down the middle. Then take a small amount, a very small amount of black fondant and roll it into a very thin even snake. You might have to redo this a few times until you get a nice piece. Just keep trying until you've got a nice even piece. Then using the knife just cut it to length and lift it up with the knife and pop it into place. And cut the spare bit off the end and pop it on the line that would be going down from the nose to the mouth. Next you need a small piece of fondant, make it a triangular shape using your two fingertips and then again using the knife just pop it into place 
for the nose. If it's not quite the right shape once it's in place, you can just use the knife to carefully reshape it. Next for the eyes, you need a tiny piece. Just roll it into a circle and then make it slightly oval shaped and just pop them into place either side. Now lastly we just want to take some pink lustre dust or pink glitter and using a paintbrush just brush some just inside each ear and some on each cheek. Now depending what you're having on your cake or on your party I've added to the final one I've added a little mini blue macaroon made out of fondant because we had the blue macaroons with chocolate filling on the party table so it, it mimicked what the party food was if you want to do that of course you can make that as well and just I secured it in place with a piece of spaghetti and there you have your teddy bear